hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel yes um if you're new here my name is ua and if you've been here before welcome back thank you guys for coming back yes i'm here again today with another video today i'm going to be showing you how i custom color this unit if you're here you want to see how i achieve this color keep on watching and just remember to hit that subscribe button on your way out if you like what you see and if you want to see more of my video and also click the bell notification so you are notified whenever i upload new video now without further rumbling <laughs> let's jump right into the video okay just before we start i thought i'd show you what the hair look like before i started decide to re re I bleach the hair it was initially a color 1b so i actually bleached it first this is what it came out looking like and i don't like this color so i'm going to change it okay now the bleach products i'm going to be using today are from sally's i'm going to be using the 12 volume developer a 12 percent the 9 percent and the 6 percent which is 40 volume 30 and 20 and i'm also going to be using some bleach powder some bowls and also some hair clips as well just to pat the hair and some gloves and also I will be needing some foil paper and my apron just to ensure that I don't get the bleach on my clothes. Okay, to start, I'm gonna take one scoop, a full scoop on each of the bowl. So I'm gonna do one each. And then I'm gonna take the first peroxide. I think that was the 40 volume peroxide. I'm gonna take three scoop of 25 um, uh, ml for each of them. And I'm just going to mix it with my brush. As you can see, it, the consistency, I, I'm happy with this. It's not too liquidy, it's not too soft. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing with the other one as well. Um, I think I used four scoops, so that was like 100 ml, because the, the, the spoon I was using is a 25 ml and spoon, um, spoon. The cup I was using is a 25 ml, so I'm using um, 100 ml in total. So now I'm doing the same thing here, and I'm just going to use my... Um, brush to mix it all together now we are done so it's time to try and bleach the hair so basically what I do first to make it make sure that I'm quicker when I'm uh, bleaching it I kind of pat everything in sections so when I'm, I'm applying the bleach it's a little bit quicker so what I did was the 20 volume developer I think or oh no 30 sorry 9% the 30 volume de developer I used that at the back because I didn't want them the hair to be too bleached at the back before I get to the front so I use the lower uh, peroxide for the back and then from the top I started using the other um, peroxide which is a 40 volume developer so that's what you see me do here and I'm just making sure that I massage all the product into the hair as well and and then I take my clean film no clean film foil paper and just wrap it this was a little bit messy guys you see how I do the next one it's not going to be as messy as that I was a bit careful another thing I do here just to avoid that line of demarcation or just to make sure that everything blends so when I'm doing the top bit I kind of tweak I turn my brush around make it like a straight line and I'm just going as a, with a stroke so if you see what I'm doing here I'm going as a stroke and um, I'm not just pasting the thing on it so it just gives you that you, you can't really tell where the, um, the bleach stops as you can see this is what I mean I'm doing like a line I'm doing like a stroke I'm just going down just to avoid that line of demarcation you don't want to just paste everything on it you have to do it like that and that would avoid um, any lines of where the bleach stops so that's basically what I'm doing and you're gonna see me do this all throughout now I'm done applying the bleach I'm just going to check um, the first one that I, I did the, the bottom bit I'm just gonna see the processing if it's if it's already been bleached or not so I'm just gonna make sure that it's not over bleached so I'm just doing that first of all to look at it so you guys you can see what I mean I actually used 30 developer for the bottom bit that's because I already bleached this hair before as well and it's, it's really done it so quickly so now I would not need to wrap it again with the foil paper because it will be over processed this is already lifted up to like 9% I think or 11.9 not 9% 11.9 so I think I am happy with the results of this bleach 
before I go in and tone it down. Now I have gone, I, gone ahead and shampooed the hair. The yellow one that you can see on the screen is after I shampooed it and then I dipped it in purple shampoo to give me that harsh brown looking style. You can actually leave it like this to be honest. It looks absolutely fine. But now I'm just going to tone it with this Walla toner. My camera guys don't want me to be great. So it would not focus. I need a new camera. Um, it couldn't focus. The color I'm using is a 10 slash 8. I don't know if you guys can see it it's a uh, it's a weller uh, color toner it's not a toner it's a color is a color it's a, the color is called a uh, 10 slash 8 I've gone ahead and um, mix the color I used two packs of those of the color and I have to mix it with a peroxide I use a 20 volume peroxide to mix it and what I'm doing here because when the hair came out I wasn't so pleased with the bottom it was too dark for the top so what I'm doing if you see what I'm doing now I'm just applying the color first on the root before going to the tip because I want that tip to be lifted a little bit um, the root to be lifted a little bit as well so I'm just applying that color to the dark part can you see that dark part it's really really dark so I'm just going to do the same process apply the the color all over make sure that I massage it in brush if I need to and just do that all over just to make sure that I have all the colors in the front I what I did is after applying the color I take my brush and just brush it through or you can use a comb as well so it doesn't have to be brushed just make sure that you are very careful you're not kind of pulling on the hair so I just brush it through to make sure that every single strand of that hair is got the color I don't want to start seeing black ones in between especially in the front so that's why I went in with my um, my brush and um, you don't have to do this if, if you are very sure that every single hair is called the color now I'm just going over again because I still have some colors left or some product left so I'm just going over to reapply those color on the hair and once I am done reapplying and making sure that everything is saturated then I'm going to leave the hair for 20 minutes I'm going to come I'm going to leave it down for 20 minutes cover it up and leave it for 20 minutes I'll set my timer on my phone then I'll come back after 20 minutes just to check So just before I cover it up, I noticed some product has gone into the places that it's not supposed to go on. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take a wipe, a clean wipe. You can do this as well. If you make a mistake, just take a clean wipe. I'm just going to wipe that part off. I'm going, I'm going to wipe the color off before I cover it up. So make sure you do this first before you take a, a plastic bag to cover it up. Because otherwise those places where you have the color is going to bleach as well or it's going to change color so that's basically what I'm doing obviously I can't afford, I can't I cannot avoid any kind of mistake so I, the only thing I can do is just fix the mistakes once it's been made I just have to go back in and fix it so now I'm taking my clear plastic bag I'm just going to wrap it up wrap it everything and set a timer I'm gonna be setting a timer on my phone it's for 20 minutes yes 20 minutes just to show you guys <laughs> I'm trying to show you guys that it's 20 minutes I'm gonna set a 20 minute timer and once that 20 minute is done I'll come back and check now this is after 20 minutes 20 minute came around quick isn't it <laughs> you know it doesn't come that quick but um this is after 20 minutes you can see it's already changing color we can see a little bit of that harsh kind of blonde look at that although this camera will not focus for anything i don't know what's wrong with the camera anyway i decided to cover it again because i was not happy with the result yet so i covered it again for another 20 minutes and after that 20 minutes is done this is what we have voila this is it i'm going to now rinse it off unfortunately i couldn't show you guys me rinsing it off 
basically you just shampoo the hair so if you want me to do a, a video showing you guys how i rinse off my color or shampoo my hair and deep condition let me know in the comment section i'll do that for you guys okay i couldn't show everything in this um tutorial or in the um in this video it was it's gonna be too long so um this is what is looking like and i am kind of happy with it so now i'm gonna rinse it off take it up to my sink and rinse the color off I, you have to make sure that you rinse it off properly okay rinse it like a couple of times now this is the hair before i put the color and after the color you can see the difference one of them is very harsh blonde looking this is what i like i might change it later i don't know yet i've gone ahead and just use my hand to kind of um brush out the curls i didn't want it to be too tight of a curl so um i've already laid the hair as well look at the front it's all laid all our wig come glueless okay so if you want me to make a wig for you let me know in the comment section go on my website click the link for our wig construction um i will leave a link to that services in the description so you can go check it out if you want your wig to be made for you by me let click the link in the description i use a sewing machine to make my wig so if you guys are interested in knowing how to make your wigs on a sewing machine please check the link in the description i'll leave a link to my sewing machine e learning class so you can check it out um, I'm just going to slip this on. It's literally glueless. So I'm just going to put it on my head and you see how easy it is. And meanwhile, I don't have any combs or any uh, elastic band on this. It fits perfectly and it's going nowhere. Okay. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Wow. I like the color. This is the first time I'm trying it on me. I kind of like the color though. It looks really nice though. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Ah, the color is really nice. I like the color. Honestly, I like this color. Okay guys, let me know what you guys think. The thing is, with these bundles, they are raw um, human hair. So you can actually bleach it to a, a level 10 and take it to any color you want. The only thing I would not do is go back to black. Because one, I can go back to black, but once I go black, I can't come back to this light color anymore. So that's just one thing I have, you have to bear in mind. So if you're going to color your hair or you're going to change the color of the, the units that you have, just remember once it's black, you, you can lift it up to whatever color you want. But when you go back to dye black, you can never come back up. Okay, that's the tip. You see, I'm always dropping gems in this um, my YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing, okay? If you want to learn all about wigs, sewing machine making wigs, makeup, hit that subscribe button, okay? I know you want to. You know you want to. You just, uh-huh. It's very easy. Okay, that is it. I am loving it. From one village girl to uh, this sleigh queen, okay? ignore me <laughs> okay this is it um okay guys um this is the end of the tutorial i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have don't forget to give this video a thumbs up yes and also if you still have not subscribed to my youtube channel mm -hmm. i'm watching you <laughs> hit that subscribe button <laughs> it does help my youtube channel as well if you subscribe so just hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification so you are notified whenever I upload new video, okay?